Good morning to everybody. This is Pavel from Montreal, Province Quebec, Canada, and I welcome you to my short series, which I call Five Minutes of French Grammar Analysis. As usual, I extract an article from uh, Journal de Montreal or from uh, uh, the French articles or the, the French uh, newspapers such as uh, Figaro and I analyze certain grammatical expressions, explain them in the details so everybody could follow up very well what the content is. So without further ado, let's start and let's analyze it. Well, unfortunately, this extract is about something sad, something that happened. It's a murder. So, uh, but let's analyze what the sentence says. La découverte d'un couteau ensanglanté aurait permis d'arrêter ce jeune pour la merde d'un sexagénaire. The discovery of a bloody knife would have made it possible to arrest these young people for the murder of a sexagenarian. Well, so let's analyze the first sentence. The sentence says, La découverte d'un couteau ensanglanté aurait permis d'arrêter ce jeune pour la meurtre d'un sexagenarian. So, when we look at la découverte d'un couteau ensanglanté, that's that verb, that word ensanglanté is an adjective and it has to be in accord with the subject. The subject happens to be un couteau, which is masculine. So, ensanglanté will have just one E. If that subject was feminine, there would be another E. Next expression. Ore permi. What is ore permi? That's a past conditional tense. And we use it um, in expressions such as hypothetical situation of events that did or did not take place or that might have occurred. In that case, we are using the auxiliary avoir in the simple conditional form ore and the main verb permettre permis which is the past participle of the verb permettre so in this case there is a hypothesis that this bloody knife okay was uh, the reason why this culprit was apprehended there is one more important element that I would like to add, and this is a journalistic usage. So this expression that I have underlined here is more related to the journalistic use because the past conditional is also used to express both allegedly and reportedly uh, happenings in the past. So let's examine the second part of this uh, criminal act. Les individus ont été arrêtés par les policiers de la Sûreté du Québec alors qu'ils s'apprêtaient à jeter la dépouille à l'eau. The individuals were arrested by police officers from the Sûreté du Québec as they were about to throw the body into the water. So let's analyze the grammar here. So the first part I'm interested in is les individus ont été arrêtés. As we can see, this is the present perfect passive tense. And uh, for that reason, the past participle has to agree with the subject, which happens to be les, individu, les individus, which is in the plural, uh, not the agent, but it has to agree in gender, and the number. So as we can see, les individus, plural, is the subject. That's the reason why in the past participle arrêté, there has to be s at the end. Because otherwise, 
the past participle would be only arrêté without s, but since les individus, so it is the subject and it is passive form, it is to agree in number and gender. So that's why there is an s at the end. Well, let's move to the last part of this uh, expression and or of this sentence, and that one which I'm interested in is alors qu'il s'est apprêté à jeter la dépouille à l'eau. Mainly I'm interested in the verb apprêté. It is a reflexive verb, we know it because it is se apprêté, and it is in imperfect form. Everything or every verb which is in imperfect form is the expression that describes the situation as it was taking place in the past. The same like we are using in English, I am reading, I am sleeping, or I was reading, or I was sleeping, or I was getting ready, or I am getting ready. So it's an imperfect form, and as you can see, c'est apprêté, it's a third person plural, because it describes two people. And because one is masculine, one is feminine, it expresses qu'il s'est apprêté. If it uh, were, let's say, two women, it would be qu'elle s'est apprêté. So that's basically it to, uh, concerning this expression. And the rest of the sentence, ah, jeter la dépouille, that means to throw the remains in the water. Well, I would like to thank you very much for your time that you have spent watching this video. I hope that uh, you have uh, understood and captured the substance of my explanation. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, leave the notes if necessary or if you can, and I'm looking forward to post these analysis of French language again. Bye-bye.